up guys? My name is Steve Brayton. I'm here to give you four tips to incorporate while doing beast cardio and then of course I'm going to share with you guys my weekly results. Alright guys, so Beast Cardio, probably the one workout I look forward to the least because I think it's because it's called cardio. I don't like cardio. Um, I think you guys already know that. Um, but it is very important that you keep your cardiovascular health in good standing because you know if you're doing good with your cardio, you're going to be able to get through a lot of these harder workouts a lot easier and you're going to be able to lift more. You know, like for an example, during uh, build legs or any of the leg workouts, they're so fast paced and it is so hard to keep up sometimes. But, you know, if your cardiovascular health is good, you're going to, you, you will not be as tired out, you know. So uh, I have noticed a difference in making it a priority to do cardio at least once a week. Because honestly, I've, I've noticed that, you know, I'm able to lift heavier because I'm not so out of breath when I go into my next move, you know? So that alone right there makes a huge difference, you know? So you're able to lift more during your other uh, workouts and all that good stuff. So doing cardio is ex still extremely important. You know, obviously I hate cardio, but again, it is very important. That's why it's in here at least once a week uh, or it depends on what schedule you're doing. But, um, but yeah, so I actually always make sure that I do cardio at least once a week, no matter what. Uh, there is two different types of uh, calendars that you can do during this program. You can do the huge beast, you can do the lean version. Um, even when I do the lean version or the huge version, I still make sure I always do cardio at least once a week. Um, so it is important that you do cardio because of those reasons, because again, it will help you to be able to lift more, especially during your leg workouts, because those are freaking hard. I think we can all agree on that. Um, so uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about is to remember, you know, while this is called beast cardio and it's called cardio or whatever, um, you should still be pushing your weights. You should still be fighting to go up in weight. You know, throughout uh, this entire workout, most of the workout, you have a weight in your hand. So anytime that I have a weight in my hand, I'm always pushing to go up in weight. No matter what move I'm doing, if they require me to use a weight, the next time you bet your ass, I'm going to try to push to use more weight the next time, you know? And I think a lot of people have this uh, mentality like, oh, it's cardio, so I can just do light weights. Which, uh, to an extent, yes, but um, if you want to get faster <laughs> results like I do, um, I always like to push my weights even when I'm doing this workout because um, I notice that um, the intensity is way, way higher, you know, with how much I'm sweating and all that good stuff. Like you're gonna notice a huge difference if you actually push your weights. Uh, so just remember, you know, while it's beast cardio, it's, it's still lifting, you know, you still got a weight in your hands. So I'm gonna run through a few of these moves uh, in particular that I make sure I go up and weight on. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is a squat to an overhead press. You know, during this move, currently right now, I'm able to get through the whole thing while using 25 pound dumbbells. Very freaking hard. And I will promise you this, when I'm done with this workout, I literally could fall over and collapse. I love it. You know, it, my shoulders are on fire, which is good. My heart rate gets up. I mean, you gotta lift heavy 
to make this workout super effective. And I'm telling you guys, you know, beast cardio is really important if you guys want to get like shredded. Seriously, you have to make sure that you really push it in this workout because you're doing a lot of different stuff than you are in your other workouts. So this is kind of like the one workout where you can do a different type of workout. So it even adds a little muscle confusion, honestly. It's, it's just a really good thing to do because you're doing a lot of hold moves like this one in particular, uh, you know, with the squat to overhead press, you know, it's a different kind of workout, you know? So make sure to, you know, really push during this move. I'm still trying to, I'm still fighting to get up to 30 pounds and to be able to make it the whole way through. It is extremely difficult. But um, I also do wanna say, be careful also while doing these moves too. If you haven't been really pushing yourself, now that you know to push yourself, if you haven't been, make sure you go up and wait slowly. You don't wanna go up and wait too fast and be like, oh, this is lifting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should go up and wait. And then you get injured because you can also get injured probably the easiest in this workout because it is so fast paced. Uh, so be careful and take your time going up in weights. Uh, so that's what I got to say about that move. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the toe tap. The toe tap, I love this part of the workout and I love the fact that it's right at the beginning because you are able to get your heart rate up right at the beginning of the workout, which is what you want, which is why I think that the man himself put this right at the beginning because when you do this move, you know, you're getting your heart rate up right away. And whenever I do this move right afterwards, I, I'm pretty much from this point on, I'm sweating throughout the entire rest of the workout, which is good. And I think it's this workout that really does it. But the only way to make that happen is if you keep your intensity high. Don't just mindlessly do the toe tap and, you know, just not count. I actually count every single time that I bring my left leg up and I go for 60 reps. Every time I bring up my left left leg, that is one rep, and I go for 60, you know? Um, that is something that I force myself to do. Sometimes on Sunday mornings where it's like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, I still make sure that I hit 60 reps, and it forces me to keep my intensity on point, you know, kind of like when you uh, keep track of your weights, you know? That's why I recommend that people on my team keep track of their weights, you know, because you know, you don't, you can't keep your intensity in consistent and you can't consistently keep seeing results if you keep dipping in your weights, you know, like you got to stay consistent. You got to know where you're at with your weights and you got to keep pushing to lift heavier every single week. It's no different than these types of moves. So whenever you're doing weightless moves and you're not using a weight, you should still be counting uh, how many reps you're doing with a lot of these moves. You know, even when you're doing a twist, like if you're in a push-up position and you're doing that ab workout where they're doing the twist, I still count on that move as well. You know, so make sure that anytime that you're doing any of these types of moves, like the toe tap, you're counting your reps. Keep track of how many reps you did, and then next time try to beat it. During the toe tap, it's extremely def difficult to do more than 60 because I think that's one rep per second, which is pretty freaking fast. Um, but I am trying to still beat that. But 60 is kind of like, hey, you got to at least get this because that is what is going to set the tone for the rest of the workout. Because like I said, right after that uh, move, I'm typically sweating and I stay sweating throughout the entire rest of the workout. And there has been times where I didn't have my intensity up during that particular uh, move. And honestly, I did notice a difference. My heart rate was not able to get up as high as I could have been, you know, because I didn't push it in that toe tap. I honestly think that that toe tap is there to right at the beginning of the workout to get your heart rate up, you know, and to burn more calories. The idea is to get your heart rate up past a certain level and for it to stay there. And, you know, it's known where uh, to, you need to get to a certain heart rate in order to start burning calories. So by doing that move and really pushing it, it's gonna force you to get your heart rate up to that heart rate that you need to be. Everybody's different. Um, and there you go. You know, then you're gonna burn more calories and your workout is gonna be much, much, more, much more effective. Um, so that's what I got to say about that. Next thing I wanna talk about is very similar to the thing that I said at the beginning, you know, with uh, remembering that, hey, you know, I know this is cardio, but it's still important that you, anytime that you have a weight in your hand, that you push to go up and wait. 
you know, and this move in particular right here, the mountain climber, you know, during this move, I'm using like 45 pound dumbbells, you know, during this part, you know, so make sure that during this move, you're still pushing to go up in weight. I think at one point I was even doing way more, than, not way more, but like 50s or 55s or something like that, just to give you an idea. You know, like my intensity is really high while doing this workout. I'm sweating like crazy while doing beast cardio. And if you're not, then it's probably because you're not incorporating these things that I'm telling you. So definitely game changing, incorporating all this stuff that I'm telling you in all these, all these videos. Because seriously guys, I'm getting shredded right now and it's because I'm doing all this stuff that I'm telling you guys right now in, in my past videos. So I would definitely make sure you get, to get through all these videos and uh, keep up with me because I'm doing one of these every week regarding every single workout during uh, that, that Body Beast has has to offer. So be sure to watch these and you know, I'm sharing everything I can with you guys in the little time that I have each week uh, to tell you all the secrets and how I think that I'm getting, or know how I'm getting results, faster results. You know, you mix this intensity with proper nutrition, supplements, and all that good stuff, you're gonna get results, I promise. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is one more move. Uh, when you're doing the burpees, right here. Just to give you an idea, this is, this is a really, really important move too. This is an amazing workout. Uh, it's burpees, you know, it's, one, it's known to be one of the most popular, uh, most sought after workouts to get really fast, awesome results, to get your heart rate up, build muscle all at the same time, you know? And why is that? It's because it's like a deadlift and it's like cardio, you know, your heart rate's insanely high and it's just an all around really good move uh, to really help get a strong core as well. And it's just amazing. Burpees are amazing. So during this move, I use the heaviest dumbbells that I have, 75 pounds. And this is another thing that I forgot to mention, but even during this move right here, you know, uh, they do um, three sets, you know, of burpees, you know, and then they do a hold or they do a different move in between, you know. Um, each and every single time, I, sh I try to go for eight reps, you know, um, every single time using the 75 pound dumbbells, you know, so try to keep all that stuff in mind. You know, and it doesn't have to be eight reps. You know, the idea is to just take mental note. This is kind of, this kind of goes hand in hand with what I said about the toe tap. You know, keep track of your reps. You know, it's a different sort of thing when you're doing beast cardio because they don't say you're supposed to do a specific amount of reps really. You know, you're just following along with them. You know, do as many reps as you can and then keep mental note on what, on how many reps that you did and try to at least match that next time you know, and get comfortable with how many reps you're able to go in and then go up and wait when you can, you know. Um, personally, I would rather do less reps um, and more weight, you know, like during this move, you know, I'm using 75 pound dumbbells, you know, and I only get eight reps, but you know, could I get more uh, reps in if I were to go down and wait? Yeah, probably. But I think eight reps is a good amount of reps, especially because I'm trying to gain muscle, you know, so I like to keep my reps low. But again, when you're doing weightless moves though, it's kind of the opposite. You want to do as many reps as you possibly can. You know, like the side tw twist to the side. You know, like when you're in a push-up position, you're doing the twist. You know, I love to try to get as many as I can there. I try to go for 10 reps. You know, I think you have so many seconds, but I try to get 10 seconds. Every time my, my right leg goes in front of me, you know, I count that as one rep. You guys kind of get the idea? Uh, but try to incorporate all that stuff, all this stuff, you guys, because it is game changing. Um, but that's pretty much all I got to say in this video regarding beast cardio. Just remember, takeaways to keep it simple. Just remember, it may be called cardio, but you're using weights, you know. Um, and the moves that you aren't using weights, make sure that you are counting your reps and trying to beat the amount of reps that you did last time. During every single move, doesn't matter what move that you're doing, if you're doing anything, try to count everything that you're doing if you're not using weights and then try to match that, beat that next time, you know? And same goes with uh, when you're using weights during like the moves where they ask you to use weights, you know? Try to get comfortable uh, doing a certain amount of reps and then keep trying to push to go up in weight. That's pretty much all I got to say about Beast Cardio. It's an amazing workout. Um, I can't wait to talk about all these other workouts because there's even some uh, that Beachbody On Demand offers that I don't even think I've done yet. So 
I'm excited to actually give those a try and then give you guys my feedback on the workout and then share my thoughts on it and give you guys some tips. Uh, so now it's time to talk about my results. My results are absolutely insane, you guys. Um, definitely getting shredded. Uh, I turned 35 April 4th, uh, which is a big number for me personally, halfway to 40. Uh, that sucks, uh, not excited about it. Uh, but hey, you know, I'm getting in the best shape of my life right now and um, I'm feeling amazing. And it's gonna be pretty cool to say that I turned 35 and uh, I was in the best shape of my entire life, you know? I don't know if I'll be able to say that because there was one point uh, that I was like literally just at my prime and this was not that long ago. It was actually when I, in 2016, when I did my uh, first competition. That's what these, re these results are right here. Um, I'm trying to beat those results. I wanna get back to those results by the time I turn 35. Uh, so I have literally uh, a month, you know, so. <laughs> I got my work cut out for me. Uh, my weights, however, are going up. I'm lifting almost as much as I did uh, in that footage that I just showed you, which is exciting. Uh, there are a few moves that I'm still struggling to get to my old weight doing. Uh, for an example, the deadlift, you know, I'm using the straight, or not the straight bar, but I'm using a bar instead of dumbbells, and I'm just throwing on the plates, man. And I am almost back to the weight that I was able to do before. Um, which is pretty much all the weight I have in here. Um, I was able to throw, um, I, I don't know exactly how much weight this is, but I had a 45, a 35, a 25, and a 10 on each side, and then I think the bar weighs 15 pounds. And I was able to do that um, 15 times every single set. Um, I probably should be going up in weight, like I always preach to you guys, but that's all the weight I got. And I was fucking shredded and I was feeling good in that video. Um, I'm not able to do that quite yet. Um, but like I said, I was doing 15 reps with the rest times that they were doing, and I was doing 15 reps every single set, which was insane that I did that. That's a lot of weight, but uh, yeah, I'm almost there. I am using that amount of weight. I just, I'm not able to get that crazy and just, even though they say to do eight reps, I'm like, screw it, man. This is all the weight I got, and I just do 15. You know, it's like, what? I can barely do that right now, but it's crazy how far you can get though in a month. Um, I, I, I think I can do it. You know, I still got like three, four more times of a back workout to get my shit where it needs to be to hopefully be able to do that. But that is my ultimate goal, honestly. I wanna be able to do that uh, 15 times for all three of those sets. That's my goal. That's when I know that I'm as, and I'm as strong as I was before. That's like one of those workouts that just stuck with me where it's like, whoa, I can't believe I did that, you know? So every time I do that move, I'm thinking back and I'm like, okay, let's see if I can get back to where I was. Cause like I said, once I'm able to do that, I'm, per I'm, gonna, I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm gonna be pretty much as strong, if not stronger than I was in 2016. So that's pretty badass, especially because I'm gonna be turned 35 and then being back there, yes, I want it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Frickin' shredded, you guys. Definitely uh, below 9% body fat, that's for certain. Uh, I didn't quite get in the sevens uh, with percentage of body fat, but that is because I did decide this week to up my carbs just a little bit uh, during lunch, just to give me a little boost. And because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get that size back too, but I'm also trying to get down to competition level. So I'm trying to find that happy medium right now, but um, I do feel like taking in just a little bit more carbs during lunch has helped me a little bit. Um, but next week, I'm gonna switch up my nutrition a little bit more and I'm gonna cut out uh, probably carbs completely just so I can get down to uh, competition level results by the time April 4th hits. So I got one month and right now I'm in the eighth. So I only have about three percentage of body fat to lose to get down to competition level results, which is pretty crazy. You know, I can't even believe, it's, uh, it's crazy even saying that. You know, but uh, good stuff, you guys. Uh, keep watching these videos, like I said. I'm doing my best to share with you guys all my secrets. Uh, and if you guys ever want to do this one-on-one -on -one with me, do know the door is always open. TeamBeastHaven.com. And, uh, but I need you to be a committed son of a bitch. And uh, that's all I require you to be, you know? I need you to come into the thing, or come into the group, just guns blazing, ready to go. But also keep in mind, you know, I don't want to intimidate people either by thinking they need to be perfect, you know, 
Like, I even have some guys that struggle with getting in your workouts. And it's fine, you know? It's totally fine. You don't need to be, like, perfect coming into my group. That's what I'm there for, you know? Like, you know, if you guys are struggling getting, getting in the gym, that's where I come in. I'm your coach. So I would basically reach out to you, and I would do whatever I can to help get you back in the game, you know, motivate you. I always do a lot of motivation. Uh, inside my group, I share motivational videos. Uh, I do motivational posts in the morning. You know, I do a lot of stuff um, to help motivate the guys in the group. Like sometimes before the weekend hits, you know, I say, hey, you know, it's the weekend, you know, like don't fuck up. You know, the weekends are where most people lose their results because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, Friday, what happens when you come home? First thing, you know, it's a long week. What do you think, what do you, think you want to do? You want to have a freaking beer, maybe grill out, you know, but um, but moderation, of course, is key. Um, but yeah, whatever. I talk about a lot of that stuff though in my group, you know, to help people keep on, stay on track. So again, if you are like thinking about joining my team, don't feel like you need to be perfect, you know? I'm there to help you transition to a healthier lifestyle and it's not gonna happen overnight. That's just the reality of it. Um, but it's a learn as you go process and that's why I introduced those phases. You know, I go through literally everything and what I do for breakfast, snacks, lunch, dinner, meal plans are in there. I mean, everything is in that group for you to like work at your own pace and uh, hit those videos. And then you just ask questions inside the group. It's an amazing thing if you guys want that kind of support. If you guys are serious, like I said, and really kicking some ass, taking some names and getting some insane results, then yes, Team Beast Haven is for you. Um, but again, if you have any hesitation, uh, please shoot me an email first at steve at ucfitness.com and ask any questions that you have prior to filling out my online questionnaire at teambeasthaven.com because I am getting a lot of questionnaires filled out but then people kind of like get scared or something happens to where we get disconnected and then they don't follow through. So, and that's fine, it is what it is, but you know, just do know that if you do have questions, ask first, then fill out the questionnaire. Uh, comment below the video, whatever you want to do, you know, just make sure that you just shoot me an email at steve at ucfitness.com. I'm always there to answer any questions you guys got, but if it's not for you, then just keep following these videos, you know, keep uh, taking away what you can from these videos, comment below, ask questions. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Until the next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.